Hey guys, it's about 9.30 right now. Uh, really hoping for everything to go smoothly today. And luckily Justin's here and we're getting him knocked out. But uh, James, no call, no show. And the thing that's most disappointed about it, guys, is the fact that I talked to him yesterday and reiterated the fact that Hunter could work. And luckily Hunter is going to be here at 10 o'clock. He's going to meet us where we're at now. Uh, I'm doing a group of seven yards, by the way, on the same street, so we're knocking out seven. Luckily, I don't have a huge list to do. We've already got the one HOA done. I got my other two, my other big HOA, and uh, my neighborhood HOA, we got to get knocked out. But anyway, yeah, 16 total properties I wanted to get done today, and we're working on number eight uh, once we get these seven done, if that makes sense. But anyway, y'all, hey, listen. Disappointing. I mean, I've said it and I've said it again a hundred times. I mean, almost impossible not to go through a week without issues with employees. And uh, yesterday went great. Everybody showed up on time, worked good, we got a lot done, that kind of thing. But yeah, today, even after I had the conversation with James a couple of times yesterday about making sure to show up, you know, and let me know if you don't want to work you know, or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. He uh, lets me down big time, very disappointed in him because uh, Hunter could be here right now working. So yeah, that's what I'm having to deal with right now, guys. Uh, still haven't heard from James. I tried calling him multiple times, texting, haven't heard anything back. So I don't know what's going on. Either way, uh, very disappointed for sure. And I'm gonna let him know. I'm sure he's gonna be uh, calling me, wanting to come by and get his money for the two days he did work, but yeah, I'm not gonna let him let him have it till Monday just to make sure that he'll show up Monday because I'll need his help Monday, obviously. But anyway, y'all, hey, listen, just part of the business, guys, having employees and uh, being able to adjust on the fly on your schedule and deal with situations that arise. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but I decided to go ahead and, you know, just let you know what I got going on, man, and having to deal with. But anyway, it is, it is what it is at this point. We'll still get it done. But I'm sure Justin's gonna have a little bit of attitude now because uh, he, you know, he, he wants to get done ASAP, which I understand that. But at the same time, guys, pretty much everybody around here works to five, six o'clock this time of year. So he needs to realize that, you know, he's just gonna be thinking about him having to work a little more, a little harder. Luckily, Hunter is showing up at 10. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to deal with an attitude probably. Hopefully not, maybe not. But anyway, hey, listen, guys, I hope you're off to a better start than I am. I've got some footage, and I'll get some more, and we'll talk about various things, and I'll let you know throughout the day if James uh, shows up or calls me and whatnot. Luckily, Hunter did say he'd be here around 10, so I'm hoping he does follow through and uh, is a man of his word in the situation and shows up because we could really use some help to try to get these properties done. But I hope you're having a great day, guys. Talk to you later.
Hey guys, uh, quick update here. A couple other things I want to address real quick. Uh, obviously, this is a very challenging yard. I got some footage of the back and the front. Uh, very hilly, very steep hill as well, obviously. But yeah, uh, you really need to have a good mower. And obviously I got a good mower that traverses these hills really well and does a good job. But even so, I mean, you can see the, the way the land is, it's not very smooth. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to get it level and you gotta be real careful, especially up on here on the side here. You could easily flip if you're not careful. But anyway, yeah, make sure to have the uh, the roll bar up in this situation at all times. Sometimes I'll put it down, most of the time I keep it up. But anyway, yeah, luckily, uh, by the way, James did finally text me. It's about 10 after 10 now. He finally texts me. It is what it is. I mean, I'll have to talk with him later. I mean, these guys know that obviously it's not good, you know, sleep in and that kind of thing. And, uh, no call, no show, that kind of thing. But luckily he's going to show up. So he's going to follow me around uh, when he gets here. And Hunter's on his way. He should be here shortly. So yeah, Justin's doing a good job. He's edging the weed eating. I just finished up the seventh yard uh, that we're mowing over here in this area. But anyway, hey, listen, uh, wanted to address the video yesterday, by the way. I had a commenter come in this morning, Langer, I think is his name. I appreciate him commenting. But I want to make sure that he knows that I'm in no way taking advantage of this woman. So again, I think I did a good job of explaining the whole situation, how it went down. But if that's what you're doing, if you're insinuating that I'm taking advantage of this woman, ah, uh, no, that's not the case at all, buddy. So don't insinuate that. I'm curious, I did comment and I reiterated the things that I said on the video yesterday. Like I said, I charged her 300. I didn't charge her $480, okay? And this is a woman of sound mind. Uh, she lives by herself. And she's a millionaire, a multimillionaire. So it's not like somebody that's living off social security or anything like that. And like I said, even though I still feel kind of funny, she volunteered the money. It's not like I charge her $480. Okay, buddy. So I want to make sure you understand that. I think everybody else counted it as a blessing. And that's kind of how I'm thinking of it. And like I said, I'm going to take some of that money and do something nice for somebody else. Uh, that kind of thing. So yeah. I'm in no ways taking advantage of this woman. She volunteered the money even after I handed her a hundred of that money back two separate times and she refused to take it. So yeah, buddy, hey, I hope you're listening to the whole story and surely you're not insinuating I'm taking advantage of this woman. Again, I charge her 300. She gladly paid me $480, even though yes, it is a lot of money for that amount of time. Two people, an hour and 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, uh, consider that. I hope you're not insinuating that, bud. And I appreciate you commenting and viewing, but feel free to comment on today's video if you happen to watch. Or I hope you'll actually comment to my comment that I responded to you on from this morning. But anyway, yeah, yeah, guys, uh, luckily guys are showing up, by the way. Uh, Hunter and James, I'll be here shortly to help finish uh, blowing off these uh, yards here. And we'll get back on it, get back to the list, and we'll knock the rest of them out. Hope you're having a good one, guys. Talk to you later. Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Uh, a couple things real quick before I let you know how the day went, some things that are going on with James especially and uh, my employee situation obviously got going on. But anyway, yeah, so I got a guy coming to buy some firewood, uh, $50 worth, 80 sticks. So I told him I had plenty. I don't have to worry about going to my wood yard or whatever. So I'm just gonna get some from my, my uh, personal stack that I have behind the fence. Uh, just 80 pieces, 50 bucks. So yeah, he'll be coming here here in a minute uh, to get that. So yeah, making a little extra money there. It should be cash, so that's nice, obviously, but yeah. So that, guys, hey, another thing. So my new mower, my new laser hit 50 hours. So I've always changed the oil out after uh, 50 hours when I first get it. Normally, 
Normally it's every hundred, but uh, when I buy it new, I make sure to change it every 50. Curious Eddie, uh, Will, some of you guys that are pretty experienced, let me know when it comes to new mower, is that normally what you do as far as changing the oil out? Do you change it out after 10? I know some people may do it after 10, that kind of thing. Uh, but I generally, I've done it after 50 hours when it comes to new mower. So yeah, it hit 50 today. It's got like 50, close to 51 now, 50, 51 hours on the new laser. So I'm gonna be changing the oil out uh this weekend i'll probably use it some tomorrow but, but anyway hey listen so yeah <clears throat> curious about those things guys uh, let me know uh as far as uh, when you change the oil out on a new mower as far as the amount of hours on it like i said i've always done 50 but yeah so everything overall went good guys uh i mean we ended up getting everything done i mean we were done at 4 30. i just went and ran a few errands picked up some money uh, from a guy in the neighborhood uh and talked to another lady miss patty she says she might be watching today. So, yeah, I really like Miss Patty. She's a super nice lady. Been in her yard for a while now. But, yeah. Uh, so, James, I think I was saying earlier in a clip that he was saying that he was going to be coming in. And he was texting me around 10 saying he finally got up, this, that, and the other, and he would be coming in to work. Well, he never showed up. And uh, <clears throat> never showed up, but he was texting me about coming to get his money. He worked two days this week. So, he's texting me, and I texted him. So, nah, dude, I'm going to hold it till Monday, <laughs> thinking I'll just, you know, hold it to make sure he shows up Monday as like a, a bargaining chip, so to speak, a little leverage, you know, holding us money. And uh, he gives me this story about how he's got to pay for a ticket. Yeah, I tell you guys uh, that he needed the money, that kind of thing. So, uh yeah, so yeah, he was telling me that, that he had a ticket he had to pay for. He really needed the money because I'm thinking, why not just, you know, get it from your parents or whatever, that kind of thing, and then pay him back once you get the money from me Monday. So that's what I automatically thought. But yeah, now he's now he's saying that he can't come right now, but he's wondering if he get it, you know, tomorrow. So I don't know, guys. I mean, I guess I don't know about him. I mean, he does a good job, y'all, when he's here, but he seems like a decent kid and all. But I mean, man, I just don't know. It seems like he's... Not exactly got things together, so to speak. So, yeah, y'all, I'm dealing with that. Uh, mother guy, my main guy, uh, has got a, he's had a bad attitude all week long. I mean, it's literally, literally every day. And I'm proud of him for showing up. But every day he's had some kind of attitude issue where he's just like, he's like ticked off about something, you know, even though we're still getting done before five every day. I think that's usually what it is. He feels like he shouldn't be, working you know to five or later you know that kind of thing even though every other company around here works at least five pretty much every day uh sometimes you know six seven o'clock and then of course you know i actually end up working you know later than anybody that works for me that kind of thing so yeah which is fine with me but yeah man it's just always something whether it's guys not showing up being late the attitude you know somebody's always something guys i mean you know overall the week went great overall I mean, still got to need to have a good day tomorrow. Uh, got a good bit of yards to mow tomorrow, uh, that kind of thing. But yeah, overall, I mean, despite all the issues, I mean, still got a lot done. You know, made some good money and uh, got a lot of jobs done, that kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, it's just you young guys looking at hiring people for the first time. I mean, it's uh, it can be a nightmare at times, you know. Uh, you know, I've just gotten good at dealing with it and figuring things out and just having the attitude that, no matter what happens, I'm gonna figure it out and get it done. You know, keep people happy and keep this business going and uh, keep my, <clears throat> you know, keep money in, you know, my account, that kind of thing and my family fed, all that. But anyway, but yeah, but yeah, y'all, hey, listen, I don't wanna keep too long, but yeah, that's what I got going on. Luckily, despite all the, the issues, Hunter did show up. So that really helped us and we still ended up finishing up at 4.30. But yeah, I just got things I'm dealing with guys and that's part of it. When it comes to employees, it just can be difficult at times, but I am grateful uh, that the main guy and Hunter both showed up, luckily, so we were able to get everything done I needed to. Got the whole list done. Even got done around 4.30, so not bad, y'all. But yeah, y'all, hey, listen, let me know in the comments about some of the things I mentioned. I hope I'll put a good, good video together, and I uh, hope you're having a great week, guys, and uh, have a good weekend. Talk to you later.